Portals are some of the most useful tools in Valheim, but I've recently been thinking, what if we made them look even better? Hey everyone, my name is Smitty, and today we're going to be learning how to make our standard portals look a little bit nicer by building decorative structures around it. I'll be covering four awesome designs for different stages of the game, ranging from early game all the way to end game mistlands. We'll go step by step on how to build them, and I'll provide a list of all the materials you need. I hope you enjoy, but without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, Let's get right into it. Alright, so for our first design, this is definitely going to be early game, so have a much more wood in the design. What we'll start out with is... Before we place the portal, we're just going to place some of our wooden outline just to make sure the spacing is correct. So I'll start with the one by one wall, two meter beam, and then another one by one wall. So I'm going to build up just two meters high on each side of my beam. And then place one more beam on our side. And this will serve as kind of a general foundation for the portal. At this point, we can actually place in the portal since we know what our spacing is going to be. So I will just center it right here. Most of it's going to be covered uh, by our design, which is kind of our intent. I'm going to go ahead and set this one. I have to deal with the visual effects. So from here, I'm going to place wood poles just to line all four sides of the pillars. And then from here, I'm going to grab the 26 degree beams. And then from the outside of the pillars, we're going to place it so that it meets in the middle. Then from here, we're actually going to take this same snapping point on the outside of the pillar. We're going to rotate in one. And we're going to place another 26 degree beam. And we're going to do that on both sides. And in doing that, we get a little bit of an overhang here that meets in the middle. And then from this back layer here, we're going to place a 26 degree beam so that it just splits these two right here. From here, we're going to place two wood poles, just one meter, so that they both go up and they kind of cover this gap here and support this angled beam as well. Then at the end, we are going to place our dragon head. So again, this design is going to be uh, kind of like a dragon design. So we'll create a head and then we'll create some wings. So next, we want to create uh, some like wing-like structures to give it a little bit of flair. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to start with this little mid snapping point down here and just rotate in one to the outside on each side so that it comes down and kind of frames the front in this way. So from here, I'm going to take this snapping point and rotate in once. And then right below it on the snapping point, I'm going to rotate out. So from here, it should be out and then rotate in one. And we're going to kind of follow that pattern. Then at the top, we're going to rotate in again one more time. You kind of got this ascending pattern where it rotates one click with each one of these angled beams. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So from here, rotate in once, rotate out. Then at the top, you rotated one in from that beam. And then you should have some good symmetry on both sides. What we're also going to do here is so we're going to place wood pole on each one of these snapping points from the pillar. And we're going to create one additional beam here. That's going to be parallel with this last one that we placed. So do that on each side. And so these are kind of like the flared wings of our dragon portal. From here, we're going to put in some wood poles. What I like to do here 
is actually rotate it so that that corner is actually in the midpoint of this beam. So we'll continue to do that all the way up. Do the same here. And then we'll also place just some beams pop off this section right here. And then in the back, just to make it symmetrical, we will also place some beams. So from here, I'm just going to add a couple of sconces. I have to sink them down pretty low just because it might get blocked by this beam if it's not low enough. So just place these down here. And then what I also like to do is just place a couple of wood shields up here on the beams just to add a little bit of color. Alright, and so with that, the dragon portal design is done. Definitely more of an early game design, more focused with just wood beams. Uh, you might need a couple bronze some of the sconces and, and nails for this, things like shields but some of that stuff is also optional but you can decorate how you wish and yeah i think this is a nice way to spruce up an early game portal All right, so this next design is going to be for the mid-game, early mid-game. It's going to utilize more stone as well as some iron, so you probably have to be in the, st the swamps at least for this design. But what we'll start out with is we'll start out similarly to how we did the first one, trying to get our spacing right. So we'll start out with some pillars, and then we'll add a stone wall and then another pillar. And we can do the stone wall just to get our spacing for a portal. After we have that, we'll go ahead and we will place our portal in. Nice and centered. What we will then do is we will put one by one stone walls on top of our pillars. And from here, we're actually going to custom place some stone floor. Just so it's centered right on that pillar. And then we can bring it across. From here... We're going to take our one by one stone walls and we're just going to custom place with shift to clip it into this pillar. And so we'll utilize the stone foundation on top. Do that on three outer faces. Do that on each side. So we'll actually do the same thing down below, just clipping in some stone. And this will just give a little bit more depth uh, to our build and to our pillars. Okay, so from here we can actually get rid of this middle uh, stone floor. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to put in some stone arches. We're going to snap them to the stone blocks that we just clipped underneath. That'll come out like that. And then what we are actually going to do is we're going to put in some stone floor. But instead of having it centered, we're going to bring it out just a little bit. Each one of our arches so that it creates this little bit of a little bit of a lip on each side. So from here, we're actually going to line our pillars with the four meter log poles. Just to add a little bit of a alternative texture and color. And then we're going to put in some stone arches that clip into the top uh, stone floor just a little bit. We're going to put it on the inside like this. So what it's actually snapping to, I think, is the, the log poles that we just put in. But that just adds a nice bit of relief and depth to our top, I like. From here, on top, 
we're gonna go ahead and put in some stone stairs just to cap it off. So I will just custom place, try to find the midpoint. Yep, that looks about right. And then we will also place in some cage wall, custom place with shift, right in the middle here. I do like bringing in some black of the iron. What I also like to do is then is to also bring in some of those green burning iron torches. So I'll just do my best to kind of slip them into the stone right here. Put one on each side. Sometimes I might resituate the stone just to make sure that I get it clipped in the way I want. So, wait that. One as well. Okay, yep, that looks about right. And then what I also like to do is decorate this with an Ike Deer trophy. Put that up there. So there's that one. Definitely a more early mid or mid game portal design. Uses a lot more stone, brings in some iron. But I really like how this one looks. Looks a little bit more, a little more hardy than the, the first one. All right, so this next design is gonna be intended more for the late game. This design uses a lot more dark wood, which means you'll need tar and other items that are probably found in the plains. So I will start out, this one is, again, very similar to how we started out the other ones. Just start out with a dark wood pole. Get our spacing right with a beam. Place another dark wood pole. And clear that one out in the bottom. And then we're also going to want to create another bit of spacing just to make it one meter wide. The next thing I'm going to do is take the dark wood arch and combine them together to make this tall archway that kind of clips into each other. Do the same thing on the back. And then on the side, we will use the carved dark wood divider just to fill it in. From here, let's actually put in our portal. Center it maybe right here. So what I'm actually going to do now is use the shingled roof O corners, the 45 degree versions. I'm going to connect them. The crossing opposite connection points here to create this box structure at the bottom. I'll do the same at the other side. And I want to do this in a way to ensure that this line aligns with my frame. So now we'll have this kind of angled ramp into our doorway. From here, I'm also going to use the 45 degree darkwood beams just to trim this open section of it. And then at the top, we're actually going to use the Raven adornments. And so I'm going to snap from the frame that's actually behind the front one. They have two Ravens hanging off the front like that. So what I also like to do is utilize the white banner. Decorate just the inside of this. So I'll hang one right there, right in front of our portal. And I think the white just contrasts nicely with the, the dark wood pieces. So what we're actually going to do now here is put in some kind of looping arms that add some flair to this structure. So I'm going to take the 26 degree beams. I'm going to snap them here to this front corner. And just make sure that it's parallel here. And then I'm going to rotate two clicks. Place. Rotate another two clicks. Place. We'll go two again. And then we'll, for this, what is this, the fifth piece, I'm just going to go one rotation. So I'm going to do the same for the other side, so place one, rotate two, 
rotate two again, rotate two, and then we'll go with one. We have some looping arms here. From here, I'm actually going to put in some wood poles that hang down. And then I'll also hang some brazers. Just to add a little bit of light. But yeah, so with that, the late game design is complete. I really like how it's nicely framed with some of these arms and the brazers. Uh, and then the dark wood pieces add a nice ornate feeling to this design. Alright, so this last design is going to be targeted more for the end game since it's going to have things like marble and some of the other Mistland decorations. But just to get started, so we'll start again similarly to how we started the other ones. So just to get our spacing. We're actually going to start with this angled marble plinth. And then we'll create another space here. And then we can delete it again just to get our spacing. What I'm actually going to do with this piece is I'm going to clip it in three ways around. We have two pillars like that. From here, since we know that we have our spacing in, we can go ahead and place in our portal. Center it right here. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with our marble. So we'll place a one by one piece here. On each side and then what we're actually going to do similar to the second design that we did is we're going to custom place some stone across this way bring it all the way across but instead of deleting the middle stone piece we're actually going to remove the outside pieces so we should just have this middle one left from here what we're actually going to take is the black marble cornice and we're going to place two in each of the outside parts here. So we should have this shape right now. From here what we're going to do is we're going to take the marble plinth again. And we're just going to custom place them. This. So it's nice and centered. What I like to do just to give the structure a little bit more flair is add these Order spire pieces going around each of these pillars. So I'll just slot them in so that they're kind of protruding outward like this. And then on this face, I basically want to make it perpendicular. And I'll just custom place the shift, slide it in this way. And I think this just makes it look a little bit more dramatic. Alright, from here what I also like to do is I like to throw some of these spires right at the top. So I'll just custom place them in right here. I'll have the points angling in towards the center. So it should look just like that. And then from here, what I like to do is just dress up the portal a little bit. So I'll add some decorations. We'll start with the Verger wall lanterns. Place two of them. The front here, like that, and then I will also place the blue jude curtains just right about here. And I'll do that on both sides. Then the last thing I do is I take the wisp torch and I place one of those right at the top here. And then what I also like to do is take the item stands and just create a box around it like this. There you have it. So this is an endgame or at least current endgame Mistland portal design. Definitely like how we use some of the marble, the different spires to make it look dramatic. I actually utilized this design in my recent build, the Mistland Mountain Pagoda. Make sure you guys check it out if you haven't already, but again, really clean and I like how it really it's the theme of Mistlands. 
All right, there you have it. Four very different designs to help spruce up your portals a little bit. Hope this provides some inspiration to you all. If it does, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.